Hey, how's your ad tracking doing? My name is Polina and I'm back to explain tech marketing stuff to make it easier for you, all the way from RedTrack's team. If you don't know what is RedTrack, we offer an ad tracking and conversion attribution solution to help marketers reach their revenue goals through timely and accurate data. I always leave a link in the description, so be sure to check out our solution. And today we're going to talk about Google Privacy Sandbox. In one of our previous videos, we already talked about cookie-less updates and how it affects the advertising market. But today we solely talk about Google Privacy Sandbox as the biggest change coming to the market. We're going to talk about what is it, what substitutes Google is working on to cover tracking and attribution through their ecosystem, and how it can affect us advertisers. What is Google Privacy Sandbox? It's a set of features and initiatives that will bury third-party cookies and tracking as we know it. Uh, instead, Google is going to create five APIs that will substitute the functionality of ad tracking, conversion attribution, and other important stuff that advertisers, publishers, and um, other participants of the market require. As we already know, like, ad browsers from Apple, Safari, Firefox, and other, they already offered blockage of third-party cookies, but Google wasn't really rushing with it as they are trying to develop new set of features that will cover this functionality. It's worth mentioning that it's an open source effort that means that developers and other uh, participants of the market are welcome to participate in the development of these features for a safer web. Now let's go over all the features that Google is going to develop. We're going to talk about tracking, uh, targeting and remarketing, ad fraud prevention and conversion measurement. So what about tracking? Uh, sandbox in engineering terms means a protected environment. So Google wants to create a protected space around the data you share with the web while you're logging in, uh, entering your email or whatever you do on the web. And it wants to create a safeguarded space where this data will be kept, but still be identified with you because it's super important uh, to identify the data with you because it makes your experience on the web more pleasant because it keeps it more personalized. So Google is working on keeping this experience as you expect it to be, a great digital experience, but still making it private in a way that your data is not shared to the internet. With this technology, it's promised that third-party cookies will be phased out, but the key website capabilities and the experience as we know it will be still there. Targeting and remarketing. So to make it possible, Google is developing two protocols, federal learning of cohorts, I tried like already 10 times to pronounce it, and turtle dove. So the first protocol is federal learning of cohorts. And it's going to change cookie-based targeting, which is based on individual-based targeting, to uh, interest-based targeting, which is based on group of people with a similar interests. It is promised that this group is large enough that the data is kept safe, uh, but the users are similar enough that they would be interested in the same type of content and ads. Your browser history does not leave your browser or device and is not shared with anyone, which makes this method uh, safe enough for targeting. Second is turtled up proposal, which stands for two uncorrelated requests, then locally executed decision on victory. I tried to remember it, but I can't. So it's Google proposal for retargeting, which is based on segment groups that advertisers will be able to add based on certain actions that users do. Uh, usually before that it was done via cookies and this is a new safe method that will be able to target, retarget those users by certain actions. What I mean by that, for example, a user has had um, a certain item in the cart and then they had an abandoned cart and advertisers will be able to target those type of users with a specific item in abandoned cart. A turtle dove is the next version of a previously existed protocol which was called Pigeon. But um, Pigeon protocol for retargeting had some issues with privacy, therefore Google was trying to improve it. 
and inventing Turtle Dove. Um, it's promised that it doesn't have those privacy issues as it removes the ad auction logic from the server level and takes it to the browser level, keeping your data safe and not tracked. Next is ad fraud prevention. In order to tackle ad fraud, Google is working on Trust Token API, which will be able to verify authentic traffic and identify users from bots. Uh, users will be required to fill out the forms that will give them those trust tokens uh, to be sure that these are real humans. Because of the cryptic nature of this form, uh, these trust tokens will not be able to track you and advertisers will not be able to track you as well. Actually, it's an alternative to CAPTCHA, but this is a safer way uh, that will allow not to track users on the web. And the last one is conversion measurement. Uh, conversion measurement is crucial for advertisers, so Google could not simply go away from this functionality. This task will be powered by two APIs, Conversion Measurement API and Aggregated Reporting API. The main task is to make sure that you can still perform attribution, that you can still gather information from different websites and keep it aggregated in one place in Google, but keep your data safe. So this data about conversion, reach, impressions, uh, whatever metrics that you need, needs to be kept in browser and not be shared with anyone. And those two APIs will make sure that it's going to be possible. The timeline of Google Privacy Sandbox. Well, actually, Google Sandbox was promised already to be out by 2022, by mid-2022, but recently they announced that it, it becomes clear that they need more time to make it all happen. So now it's been divided in two phases. First phase is late 2022, when publishers and advertisers will be able to migrate their services for final tasting of the functionality. And then by mid-2023, Google will finally phase out third-party cookies. Well, we hope so, because they've been moving the dates for too long, so we don't know if it's going to happen in 2023 as well. So what does it all mean for us advertisers? First thing you have to remember that Google has the biggest share of users on the web. 63% of users use Google Chrome. That means that when Google implements changes, it affects the whole market, every advertiser, every publisher, so we have to be prepared. Next thing that we have to understand is that Google has a lot of their revenue made through us advertisers, those people who use Google Ads. So they cannot simply phase out third-party cookies and not do anything about it. And we can basically see that because they develop all of these APIs for us. So we don't have to worry too much because the functionality will be made because Google has to keep their advertisers and has to make sure that they have all the things that we need. Uh, but we have to be ready for safe ways to track, to target, to remarket, to conversion, to do conversion attribution. So be sure to be equipped with all the technologies that allow safe tracking and conversion attribution, like S2S conversion tracking, uh, Facebook conversion API if you advertise through Facebook, and etc. etc. Uh, be ready for all the changes coming to advertising market because it's gonna change the advertising as you know it. Here I just wanted to quickly mention that we at RedTrack make sure to follow all the industry updates to be fully compliant with all the technologies. Uh, we also support S2S conversion tracking, we support Facebook conversion API, and we also take a close look at what Google is doing to be ready at all for all the changes that are coming. So always the link is in the description, be sure to check out our solution and support us. And also, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like it, comment it, um, and of course, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next videos.